Previously in New World, I reached the point that many people refer to as the level 30 wall. I became very tired of the side quests and completely changed my leveling approach to just be focusing on town project quests and the MSQ. I salvaged a ton of useless gear from my adventures, I made great progress with my gathering skills, I got locked out of the main quest line due to an invasion, I was constantly baffled by the quest design, and I ended episode 3 just outside of the depth stun in Restless Shore after catching up with the MSQ. But before we continue, a quick word from today's sponsor. Star Trek Fleet Command is a free-to-play strategic open-world mobile MMO available on both Android and iOS. Explore the vast Star Trek multiverse with the story-driven mission system, where you can unlock iconic characters such as Kirk, Spock, Picard, and Worf. From there, pick your perfect bridge crew to give your ship unique powers and combat abilities. Craft your own ship and unlock ship models such as the USS Discovery, and upgrade their equipment to find the perfect balance of powers. Send officers on expedition missions to the edges of space, acquiring resources and developing new improvements. When they return, use your rewards to upgrade your space station, or research and specialize your fleet to maximize your efficiency. In this open world game, you can choose between three factions. Work together to capture territories, pull your resources, and dominate the multiverse via epic battles in real time against other players and factions. Or you could decide to be a freelancer in the neutral zone. You're independent. Travel the open world and play by your own rules. With monthly updates and narratives via the in-game battle pass alongside an ever-changing open world, there's almost an endless supply of content. Click the link in the description below to play Star Trek Fleet Command for free on Android, iOS or PC. Download now. Back again with some more New World, episode 4 of my Journey to Level Cap series. Currently level 40, very close to level 41. Pretty sure I can just take one quest from this town project board and get the level real quick. And that's level 41. Is it soon time that I invest in tier 4 gathering tools? I think so. 41% chance when finishing gathering a node to gain one Azoth. That's really going to add up the Azoth. Alright, I'm going to buy this one. That's cool. So we're going to be getting a lot more Azoth just from gathering. I've been taking it kind of chill with New World, really. Only going for about five levels per day. I'm going to quickly smash out three faction missions as the first three you accept of the day give double XP. Pretty much the only time they seem to be worth taking. So it actually feels kind of nice doing a bit of the combat again after running around being a care bear for so long. I think to get the most enjoyment out of New World's leveling, you just need to try and keep it as varied as possible. Something I really need to do is find a survivalist NPC. Because I need to level up my camp, I've still got the newbie tier 1 camp, and I think I can have a camp all the way up to tier 4. Where I need to go to find that NPC, however, is another question. Google it. How to level up your camp in New World. Hey Vsauce, Michael here. Okay. So is this the survivalist trainer? Survivalist of Monarch Bluffs. So doing her quests should help me level up my camp. To be honest, I'm not even sure about the benefits of leveling up your camp. Alright, so I've gone from camp tier 1 to camp tier 3. I think the issue was I skipped the tier 2 quest. But I did the tier 3 quest, so it couldn't go from tier 1 straight to tier 3. I actually can't remember the last time I played an MMO like this, where the day just disappears because you're so immersed and just kind of enjoying the game. The last time I had this feeling was probably Black Desert. 53 Arcana, what has that unlocked? Strong mana potions, strong health potions. Very nice. Hand in these two, and that's level 42. Making very fast progress today. Ding, that's level 125 harvesting, and I can now track silkweed. Level 100 woodworking. As much as I'd love to just no life this game all day, I need to keep going to the gym. It's a good thing I set that six pack by the end of the year goal. If not, I'd just be set up my computer playing New World right now, all day. Back from the gym, got my dinner. Let's continue. I like that big spooky dead tree. It looks like something out of a horror movie, doesn't it? Ooh, tier four life staff. It may be tier four and blue, but it's only three gear score higher than what I currently have, and it has worse stats. So is it even an upgrade? It's kind of weird how in this game, there's hardly any item level difference between tier three and tier four. 
at certain breakpoints. I remember at one point during the beta, there used to be pretty big power spikes between each of the weapon tiers. You don't really feel that now. Stag anus gland. Okay, game. Interesting bit of loot. Typically in MMOs, behind every waterfall, there's a chest. Of all the games to do that, you'd think New World would be that game, but no. They put a chest everywhere else except behind the waterfall. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so amusing. Something I really love about this game is that due to the crafting and gathering, there's a reason to go to many different zones in this game for farming runs. Even after I've finished questing here in Weaver's Fen, and even after I've out-leveled it, I'm definitely going to be wanting to return to this zone for oil farm runs. It's taken me about an hour, but I've done every single quest that I've taken in Weaver's Fen. I've got 10 quests ready to hand in in the town. Let's see how much XP and money this gives me. So I'm 7k XP from 43. Definitely going to get the level. Let's see how far through 43 we get. Level 43. Oh, we're so close to 200 int. Hand in the Marauder quest. Hand in the faction quests. Up that rep. So now I'm Ravager, I can buy tier 4 gear if I want to. Most of this stuff's 420 gear score. Smoke weed every day. Oh, wrist's feeling like it's seizing up. It's not feeling right. It doesn't help that I've just been doing exercise with my wrist as well. That sounds wrong. Exercise with my whip of my wrist. I mean, I've just gone to the gym. That's what I meant. Heedon, don't don't put that in the video. Level 90 mining. 10 levels to go for the next big unlock. I've just realized in two levels, when I hit level 45, I can equip my third bag slot. I'm going to be able to gather so much without getting overweight. I think that's the biggest milestone I'm looking forward to. I do quite enjoy how bag weight is part of your progression in this game. It feels pretty good when you get an upgrade of it. Cooking level 115 you have unlocked cinnamon die i feel like i'm leveling up faster now than what i was from like 25 to 30 maybe i'm just being more efficient this time full set of tier 4 gathering tools now feeling good p on the life skiller is getting stacked with his gathering gear score since launch, it seems like the New World servers have improved a bit. For the first few days of release, my ping to the Australian servers was like 250 consistently. And now it's gone back to the 120 MS ping that I usually get connecting to Australia. So connection wise, it's actually not too bad. The only issue I have is when everyone's kind of complaining about the servers in chat because sometimes the invasions these things make the servers take a massive dump and you can't gather nodes or anything. My new axe is chopping down trees significantly faster, as you'd expect really. What about my new pickaxe? Three swings and with minder boulder. Nice. Visually, this new axe looks pretty impressive as well. Fire staff level 13. What should we get? Flare. Heavy attacks no longer consume mana. That could be pretty good. Fire staff burst damage is so good. You just boom, boom, most things die. Huge damage. Randomly came across a monolith while I started questing. Might as well. Boom, level 44. Nice milestone, level 90 a logging. 10 more and I can chop down tier 4 trees. This iron ore vein has been bugged for four days. I remember it because every time I walk past it, I try to mine it, as does every other player. And it's just unminable. It's been bugged for so long. Please, Amazon, restart the servers. Level 100 leather working. Big milestone. And now I can make leathered layer, tier four leather. Sometimes it's nice to just turn the UI off, stop looking for resources, and just enjoy the view, isn't it? I think New World has by far the most immersive world of any MMO I've played before. Probably has the best graphics as well. I know BDO has really good graphics, but Black Desert's graphics look a little bit off in the distance, whereas New World doesn't suffer from that. And I'd say the lighting in this game is probably more impressive. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder though, of course. My cooking bank is absolutely rammed. Where has all that weight come from? Well, broccoli is half of it. I'm not sure what it is, but after every recording session, my camera ends up over here. I don't know if I'm like shaking my leg or rocking the table as I'm playing this game, or maybe my office is haunted. I'm a little bit confused. Stay. 5.30 a.m. server time, so hardly anyone's online right now. I've just been scouring Weaver's Fen for all of these oil fields, and 
As you can see, 204 oil. George Bush would be proud. 99 mining, wow. One more. Skills cape incoming. I didn't even come here with the intention of doing a bloody mining and gathering run. It just kind of happened. I started doing some quests at the bottom of here. And then I just couldn't stop seeing nice resources pop up on my compass. Level 100 mining, huge milestone. And we can now mine star metal vein, tier four ore. So with that 100 mining, 196 tracking and skinning, 132 harvesting and level 91 logging. Let's get that logging to 100. And then I've got all of my gathering skills at like tier four plus. Not bad for only being level 44. I scorn at level 14. Increase critical hit if an enemy is in the frosted area. Yes. Star metal. Oh, it takes a while to mine this. Please give good mining XP because mining is so slow to level. And if it takes this long just to mine one, it's got to give good XP. 500 mining XP. Okay. Yeah, that's significant. And that's level 45. Finally, I've unlocked my third bag slot. So we're about to reach another very interesting milestone soon. Level 200, gathering and skinning. I wonder if I get some kind of special achievement or something pop up once I finally hit it. Just need to kill a few more wolves and we should be there. Have to admit, I would be a little bit surprised if the devs didn't put something special in for you maxing out your skills. Just seems like a fairly common sense thing to do. Final wolf, level 200, tracking and skinning. You've unlocked a title, Master Hunter. It's just, just a title? Come on. Judging by this XP bar, it doesn't seem like I can level past 200. So there it is, I've managed to max out my first gathering skill at level 45. Not bad. This is someone who typically doesn't take much interest in life skill content. Just goes to show how good the crafting and gathering is in this game. Level 105 mining, I can now mine lodestone. Oh, so tired, 5 a.m. I have been sweating this game a little bit too much. Right, so I came here to sell oil. Does anyone want to buy oil? One more thing to do, one more thing to do, one more thing to interact with. I can't remember the last time I found it this hard to stop playing an MMO. Regardless of whether or not I get to end game and start to lose interest, I'm really happy that New Worlds made me feel this way during the leveling, just not being able to step away from it. It's been a long time since I've had that with an MMO. Finally done for the night, or done for the morning as I should say. It's 5am my time. Oh my god, I can't believe how difficult it was for me to log off this game. Wait, my girlfriend's still online. Tia, are you still playing? I think she's just died in her gaming chair. <laughs> Time for bed. The next morning. Level 100 weaving. So now I can craft silk. Big tentacle out of the floor, ruining our beautiful Windswood forest. That's a tentacle, target no one else but me. You leave our beautiful Windswood alone. The servers will go down at 6, 10, 7 o'clock. That's not actually a bad thing. It's going to force me to get some work done. And that's level 46. Mining level 110. I've now unlocked platinum veins. I've never seen a piece of platinum in this game at all. Surprise, motherfucker. Scared the shit out of me. Level 3 boar hunting me down. What are you playing at? Oh my god, that spooked me. The sheep, the sheep attacked me and then it ran off. Why? <laughs> Another... Wait, what? <laughs> Why are the low-level mobs attacking me all of a sudden? Usually, they just leave me alone. Yo, that looks epic. Finally, one of the few unique areas of the game I've actually seen. It's nice to be somewhere that isn't copy and paste. As sad as it is to say that. I'm getting sick of seeing these blue trees out in the wild and not being able to cut them. 92 wood cutting at the moment. I might just get this grind out of the way now. It was one of the goals for this episode, so the sooner I get it done, the better, really. My wood cutting grind starts now. The giant redwood. The larch. The fir. The mighty Scots pine. The smell of fresh cut timber. Oh, that's level 47. I love the sound effect when things sell on the marketplace. It feels really good. Come to think of it, all of the sound effects in this game are really good. From when an Azeroth thing procs, from when coins proc, from when you get a level, from when you kill mobs. 
The actual sound effects are unbelievably good. Top tier in this game. Let's enjoy that 100 woodcutting sound effect. There it is. We have now unlocked wordwood trees. So that brings all of my gathering skills, except fishing, we're ignoring fishing, to over 100. He's thinking the same thing I was thinking, isn't he? Let's chuck down that beast of a tree. Let's watch it fall down. Beautiful. So if you remember back to episode two, I spent hours upon hours becoming obsessed with gathering broccoli because I started to discover the cooking skill. I gathered over 1000 broccoli only to realize I can't cook with it because there were no tier four kitchens. Well, Everfall now has a tier four kitchen. So I've just run all the way to Monarch Bluffs and back to Everfall to get my cooking things. Let's get cooking. Let's do it, 152. Let's see how much XP this gives me. Oh, 12,000 XP drop. 45,600 cooking XP. We're now 135 cooking. That XP drop though. Craft a few more satisfying meals and that's level 48. Didn't expect to be getting this level up purely from cooking and staying in the town. One more level and we're at 250 intelligence. I woke up this morning and I found some really cheap cooking resources on the market. So now we're about to get a huge XP drop. 866 broccoli. So let's do 600 satisfying meals. How much cooking XP will this give me? And how much of my actual level will it give me? Okay. Oh! <laughs> that gave me like half a level. 180k cooking XP. Wait, we're not finished yet. Energizing meal. To another 266. Oh, another chunk. Nice. So that's got me to 183 cooking. That was really satisfying. I'm very close to getting the level. I wonder if I can just cook my way to the level. I got some more broccoli. Let's see if this gives me enough XP to put the level, and it has. That's level 49. And with that, I've passed the 250 intelligence threshold. So this adds plus 30% to damage over time spells and plus 10% yield when harvesting. That's level 140 harvesting. Bunch of achievements unlocked with that as well. Level 120 mining. I feel like I'm running through the starting area again with all of this copy and paste. But over there in the distance, we've got Restless Shore Hamlet. Let's see, is it a beautiful town? Does it have anything unique about it? Or is this just a higher level version of Monarch Bluffs? Yeah, this one does look a little bit different. It's like a big giant pirate cove. That's really cool. Fire Staff Mastery 14. What should we unlock next? I think I'll take the abilities Incinerate and Burnout. So right now I'm heading over to the depths and hopefully we can find a group to continue the MSQ. All right, advertising in chat for a group. Level 49, big damage, mage DPS, looking for group depths, have key. Hopefully this isn't a disaster. We've got a level 50 healer here, that's nice. The depths, pretty cool looking dungeon. Aesthetically, it's not that different from the first dungeon I did, the level 25 one. It's still got that temple aesthetic. Oh, this dungeon looks pretty big. We've hardly even got anywhere. Looks like we're getting into a more and more corrupted area. Oh, is that a boss? Isn't that the same boss that we've already fought many, many times in this game? Just a higher level. Ooh, okay, no, this one's got different mechanics. Visually the same. And he's dead. Oh my god, wait, is this dungeon copy and paste of the Arm Mine dungeon? Um, yeah, I'm getting like major deja vu. There's that bridge there that you have to activate in Arm Mine. Oh my god, get pasted. <laughs> oh, I think we've pulled a little bit too much there. Just keep cutting backwards. Teleport. Ooh. So where are we now? We've teleported to the core. I guess this is going to be a boss. Where healer? Gotta love it when that happens. Fucking healer just randomly leaves the group halfway through. I'm, why though? Oh, I'm a healer. I'm just going to fucking leave the group the first time we wipe. Looking for group healer. 50 deaths. Wow. And he immediately starts looking for another group. Wow. Oh, the whole group's fucking left. GG. Okay. Attempt number two at the depths. I have a feeling that this group might be better. 
It's going much better straight away. Look at that. Grouping up mobs, pulling them together. You can already tell that this is a much more high IQ group and the mobs are going down much quicker as well. It's like the same thing happened the first time I did the Armine Temple. I had a dog shit group and it was a miserable experience. But then you get a better group and it's not that bad. Maybe expeditions are fun if you're in a group that know what they're doing. But if you're in a donkey group, they're one of the most miserable experiences you could go through. We're clearing the dungeon at twice the speed that my previous group was going through it. <laughs> Ooh, I just got a bloody epic staff. Oh my God, that's a huge upgrade. Quickly equip the fire staff. Let's test it out. Oh my God, I'm dropping massive damage. Those fireball hits. Feels good to have my first epic. Dude, absolutely destroying these bosses. No problem at all. Oh, thank you. Thank you for being a good group. I'm actually enjoying the expedition now, unbelievably. Ten minutes ago, I was in absolute misery, and now I'm having fun. The roller coaster of emotions that is New World. Onwards we go, team. I have a feeling we're getting close to the end of this place. Ooh. We got an epic maul. Oh, another epic. Tundra Warden's Rifle. To be fair, I haven't done many expeditions, so I don't know if the game dropping all of these epics is normal. Maybe this is just how all of the expeditions are. You just get a ton of epics. Really good gear, though. Looks like we're heading to the final boss. Okay, so this is the final boss. Let's talk strats. Okay, I, I like the sound of that. So he's going over here. Jump to the portal. Okay, so yeah, figured that out. You attack the corrupted monolith. Interesting boss, has actual mechanics. Okay, so you zap that, and then you get teleported back. I think we're doing it. All right, so I'm with Zayak over here. I need to quickly kill these mobs. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. What's that random thing? Yeah, there it is. There's the mines. Right, that's why you take damage. Are you doing it? We're actually doing it. Man, that was tough. You had to really focus down those mines. Really cool fight. That is it. Loot the box. And I guess we're on to the final boss. I'm actually genuinely impressed with that fight. I can understand why the healer left my previous group now. There's no way we would have cleared this. So we've opened the core. And we're soon going to be on to fight Captain Thorpe. Oh, Ice Gauntlet level 15. Nice. Here we go. Take on Captain Thorpe. Oh, so the tank's just kiting him backwards and we'll just hit him in the ass. Seems to be the strat. All right, so he's back to full health again. Oh, two people are dead. Three people are dead. Ah, we got zapped. That's reset. It's a long ass fight. Prepare to have your soul Ah, you fuck. Oi. Dodge. This is a better run. Big fucking damage. Let's go, team. Yes, we got him. That was better. Oh, my God. We actually did it. We cleared the depths. I had to take a 30-minute break after that dungeon. It made me very sweaty. But now let's make the final push to level 50. I'll stay and search for survivors. Good job, voice actor. You've got a fucking cool voice. What is going on here? Talk to a meal for the MSQ. Go inside the cave. What's happening inside the cave? Right. Defeat Jonas the Corrupted. Here he is. He was once our friend. Now he is a corrupted boy. He's gone to the dark side. Oh no. Oh no, everything's spawning on me. Ah, shit. You'd think this would be like a solo instance or something, but you you kill all of the ads and then they just respawn on you and fucking ruin the encounter. Ridiculous. Oh, there's another player here. Okay. Yeah, it's just so odd that this is not a solo instance encounter. I just find that very, very strange. Okay, take him out. That's him dead. I just got a whisper. You, sir, are a gentleman. Hand it in. Quest complete. And that's level 50. Main story quest, as of staff, level 4. So with us finally reaching level 50, achieving all of the skilling grinds that are set out in this video, as well as clearing the depths dungeon, I think now would be a good time to wrap up this video. One more episode to go, and we go from 50 to 60. For this series especially, if you guys are enjoying the content, I'd really appreciate it if you gave the video a like to help us with the YouTube algorithm. My editor is sitting through like 10 to 15 hours worth of footage each episode and some of that footage is just me gathering for hours. 
I don't know how he's coping with it, but some likes and some kind comments would certainly help his motivation. Social media links on screen, and I'll see you in the next one.